Hello everyone. We will start with a new topic. How to add custom fields to the SAP standard PAPI or we can understand in a way how to add our own fields to the SAP standard PAPI. What we will do, we will take a requirement, we will understand the requirement and then we will achieve that requirement by adding custom fields or we can say our own fields to the SAP standard BAPI. What we did in the previous videos, customer provided the data in the file, customer provided the material data in the file and we migrated the materials using this particular BAPI that is BAPI material save data. We pass the data to this particular BAPI and BAPI saved the data. BAPI is used to migrate the data and after migration we are able to check the materials into MARA and MAKT table. It means we used this particular BAPI to migrate the material data. Now, now we have an additional requirement from the customer. But customer is saying he will provide the data of two additional columns in the file. But his first column, first column is legacy system identification number and second is material is obsolete or still in use. Customer is saying he will provide the data of two additional columns in the file. One is legacy system identification number and one is the material is obsolete or still in use. But customer is saying as of now he has three legacy system but he want to check Whenever he will provide us the combined file, he will mention that this material is for this legacy system, this material is for this legacy system. So customer will mention the legacy system number also in the file. So we had a discussion with the customer. Okay. Now customer is saying if it is legacy system one, they will provide LS1. If it is legacy system 1, they will provide LS1. If it is legacy system 2, they will provide LS2. If it is legacy system 2, they will provide LS2. If it is legacy system 3, they will provide LS3. Customer is providing us a complete file and they provided the legacy system number. Now what customer is saying, there some materials are obsolete and some are is still in use. So they will provide that data also. So we discussed with the customer and customer is saying if material is still valid, they will provide B. If the material is obsolete, they will provide O. Suppose it is valid material, it is obsolete material and it is the valid material. So customer provided the data of two additional columns in the file. It means we need to save the data of these two additional columns also in the SAP system. Yes, this is our requirement. We need to save the data of these two additional columns also in the SAP. Suppose simple. In the Mara table. Whenever you migrated the data, this material number stored into Mara table matinar. This industry sector stored into this particular column. This material type stored into this particular column. This description stored into MAKT table MAKT X column. This unit of measurement, this unit of measurement EA stored into Mara table MEINS. 
now we have two additional columns in the file two additional columns in the file and there is no such column in the mara table where, where we can save the values of these two columns it means we will add our custom fields we will add our own fields to this particular table of sap now what we will do simple simple we will pass that data we will pass that data of those two additional columns to this particular bapi yes and bapi will save that data of two additional columns into the sap table it means we have to go for two steps two steps firstly we will add the custom fields we will add the custom fields to this sap standard bapi it means firstly you need to add the custom fields to this sap standard bapi then you need to add the custom fields to sap table also to sap table also so that bapi can save the data of those custom fields into this particular table and this is our topic we will add the custom fields to the bapi and then we will add the custom fields to the standard table so that bapi can save the data of those custom fields into the sap table now whenever this kind of requirement comes always always the first thing which you need to do always the first thing this is your bapi which you are using just go for the bapi go for suppose i am going for tables check do you have parameters name with extension in and extension inx yes so these two parameters we will use to pass the data of those custom fields so always always from the interview perspective many times people ask the question if you want to add the data of custom fields which parameters you used for the bapi the answer is extension in and extension inx so we will pass the data of those additional columns to these parameters n word itself is saying extension it is the extension of the standard bapi so we will use these parameters to pass the values of our custom fields now what is the summary of the video in this video we started with a one of the most important topic how to add custom fields to the standard bapi and we took one requirement that customer provided the data of those two extra column but there is no column mapping available in the sap tables so we will add the custom fields to the sap tables and we will add the custom fields to the standard bapi also so that bapi can save the data of those custom fields into the sap table and one of the most important point we discussed that extension in an extension inx are the parameters which is used to pass the data of the custom fields to the standard bapi in the next video we will start with the practical part how to add the custom fields to the standard bapi and how to add the custom fields to the standard table so that's it in this video thank you